In our previous video, we explored how anonymous browsing works with Tor or Onion Routing, allowing us to visit any website without exposing our IP to both the server and the ISP. Now in this video, we'll look at how servers can also remain anonymous through something called hidden services. In the case of hidden services, both the client and the server meet inside the Tor network rather than the client connecting directly to the server. Now, these circuits with red dots are not direct connections but Tor circuits that consist of intermediate nodes which transfer data via onion routing. In case you are not familiar with how this works, check out the previous video where we dive into how Tor routing functions. The link is in the description box below. The hidden services are sometimes referred to as the dark web, which is often seen as being synonymous with illegal activities. But that's not completely true. It simply means that everything is anonymous. Anyway, the Tor network contains thousands of volunteer nodes. But for simplicity, let's consider only five in this animation example. First, the server creates three random introduction points within the Tor network using typical Tor circuits. Basically saying, hey, if anyone wants to reach me, you can reach me from here. Then, the server needs to advertise itself on the network. It does this by generating a dot .onion link which is created using the server's public key. This link can be shared or found anywhere, even on the normal web for example. The server also creates something called a descriptor which contains information about the introduction points and cryptographic keys used for authentication. This descriptor is then added to the distributed hash table database of the Tor network. Then, if the user wants to connect to that dot .onion site, it first creates a rendezvous point by selecting a random node in the Tor network using a Tor circuit. Next, it fetches information about the introduction point by searching for that dot .onion site in the distributed hash table database. Once it has the details, it contacts one of the introduction points to establish a connection to the hidden service. Then, the client sends a one-time cookie and cryptographic keys to tell the server to connect to the rendezvous point. The server uses this information to establish a connection to the rendezvous point. Once the connection is established, both the client and the server are successfully connected, allowing them to exchange information while keeping each other's identities anonymous. Now let's see an example. First I open the Tor browser and connect to the network. I have a dot .onion link to a website which I am pasting into the browser. This opens the hidden website called ProPublica. If you look at the connection details, we can see the usual Tor circuit, followed by onion relays, and finally the website itself. Notice that we can't see the IP address of the website. That means its location is hidden. 